Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather B. Dentry Diva. Um, for any of you guys that don't know me, um, I also, too, guys, have Heather B. Dentry Diva on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Kind of all over the place. I've been now coming up with schedules of doing lives for every social media spot I have. I have done one for Heather B. Dentry Diva on Facebook, so I've already started giveaways, guys. You might want to follow me over there because I do it everywhere, so the more spots you can get in on. Um, also, two people have asked me what join is. Um, after you subscribe, there's a word join. Join is a membership. It's like a couple of dollars a month, guys. It's a membership where you get your separate videos. And I mean, it's personal videos. Um, nothing that I would ever say flat out on YouTube. It's only for my members only. Um, you get your own separate giveaways and all of that. So I have a denture fit coming out soon. I'm hoping soon for my members. I did one last time for... My subscribers that I gave out three um, for both top and bottom, which was awesome. And now this time I'm going to be doing for my members. So if you guys want to get in on that stuff, definitely you guys join. It's only a couple dollars a month. You get your separate videos, your separate giveaways, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, and I have Inside the Mind of a Diva. That's my vlogging, skincare. I mean, you guys have so many goodies and giveaways over there. And separate vlogging videos, everything. Guys, I'm everywhere. I'm a tired chick. <laughs> I do want to do a quick update and let you guys know Thomas went back to school. He's good. He's fine. Um, I was diagnosed with neuromyelitis optica. So short, quick thing, because I'll mainly put most of this, this actual in detail of what's happening with me on Inside the Mind of Diva. But it's like MS, but not MS. It's actually rare. Um, it causes... Um, being paralyzed, whether it's your arms, your legs, all that. It affects your nerves, which is why I have optic nerve derusin in both eyes. MS affects one eye. This affects two. So, I mean, I don't know how they didn't think of this prior. Some ungodly reason they didn't. So, was diagnosed with that, and it's not good because you can't really treat somebody that has so many rare diseases, and one med can piss off another, you know, disease, and it's a holy hot mess. I'll put information more in there. So, I wanted to do this video to, oh, there's one thing that's coming up that I decided to do. So, maybe once a month, maybe twice a month, I'll be doing a live demonstration. Um, most likely do it in the morning because that's when I apply my adhesive. Or I could do adjustments even at nighttime, whatever. But, I posted something on YouTube, which will be on the community board. Like, when you, when you guys first go into YouTube and it tells you a bunch of people that you subscribe to, what they've said, what they've done, it's like a news thingy. Well, if you scroll, you'll find mine, or mine will pop up right when you put on. And I asked everybody what they want me to do a live demonstration on. Whether it's going to be, um, like, how to apply adhesive, or how to do your own adjustments at home, as long as you have a warranty on your denture. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. I think I put quite a few things people could pick from. But so far, everybody picked applying adhesive and adjustments so i'm gonna pick a day when everybody's done deliberating because i just made that post today so and today is tuesday yes today's tuesday i don't remember guys so i'm gonna upload this, upload this video today when i'm done talking but if you guys want to get in on that and tell me what you want me to do live on air on youtube because i'll do it live with you guys i will talk to you guys you have any questions anything i'll be on there um Without teeth, and then with teeth once I put my adhesive in. Um, I do want to do a live on how to clean your dentures live because um, you can't floss your dentures. But there's constantly stuff that gets it pisses me off. I have such OCD, guys. And I can't floss the damn dentures, but it makes it look like you can. So I'm going to try to get all up in your biz. So right in here, in the cracks and crevices, food always gets up in there. It drives me nuts. Sometimes I can use a toothpick and lightly, I don't dig at it, guys, please stop digging at your shit, but <laughs> take a toothpick and slide it out or you can wet a Q-tip or use a dry Q-tip even and get the stuff out. But I show you guys what I do to clean my denture and how to get that out when just using my brush. You know, a lot of people ask, how do you brush your denture? It wouldn't be like your regular teeth. Well, your regular teeth, when you had real teeth, you had to do circular motions you had to start from up, up, up top here, circular motions to get the plaque off, go down, circular motions, blah, blah, blah. This is different because we can't floss. So there's a different technique that I'm going to show you guys live on how to clean your dentures because 
No. A lot of people are... I get a lot, guys, of emails and private messages, and you wouldn't believe the things I see in here. But when people show me mold and mildew all over their denture and they had mold in between their teeth and stuff, like, is it a cavity? No, you can't get cavities on plastic teeth. So when that happens, you need a whole new denture, whole new friggin' denture. You know what it is, guys? I think people get so used to dentures and just having them that they keep them in for so long. They don't clean them properly. They just do water. Like, it's, it's gross. It's so gross. So, <laughs> I try to explain to everybody about dentures. And, listen guys, I don't get paid by anybody. I wanted to be an independent person who wasn't a sellout for money. And, I mean, it would be great if I worked at companies that I loved. But, Dr. B is the only thing on the market that kills as much bacteria as it does. DentureFit has DentureClean that kills half of what Dr. B's does. But those are the only two things that actually kill bad bacteria. Everything that you guys have of cleaning products, if you don't have those two, it's odor-causing bacteria, which it's not staph, strep, yeast, thrush, the whole enchilada. It doesn't kill anything that's actually beneficial to us. So please, guys, for the love of God, get the products that actually benefit you, especially with COVID and things. You want to make sure you're disinfecting your denture as best as possible. Please take care of them. They're your investment. Please. Please. And wear your damn denture. Ooh, so tired of people like, oh, I can't eat with my denture. Well, do you wear them? No. Okay, well, then you're not used to them. So you have to use them to get used to them to eat with them. If adhesive doesn't work for you, that means you need a soft reline because your gums are too, too much shrinkage for the adhesive to even hold. You know, and especially with bottoms, if you lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth, Mm -hmm. All those tongue muscles can pop your denture. So if you're eating and it pops, you probably need an adjustment. And you can always tell by what side it is, whatever side pops more, whatever side's looser. You can actually feel sometimes it hitting it. Even if it doesn't hurt, you'll still feel it hit it. So there's many reasons why dentures don't sit in place. And they're easy reasons, honestly. It's either you're like, say if you're six months in. And you've tried three different adhesives on top of each other, which stop doing that. That means you need a soft reline done. Your gum shrinkage is too massive. So if you have a warranty on your denture, you tell them to do the soft reline. What I've noticed, guys, at people with warranties, 90% of the time, the dentists are like, oh, no, you do it after three months of having it. No, that's BS. You can get a soft reline out one month. But when you have a warranty, you signed your life over to them of what's going to happen with your denture. So they can force you to wait three months. And then you're going to have a shitty ass journey because no adhesive is going to hold those babies in. And I feel like dentists and oral surgeons are oblivious what we go through, which I'm going to make a video for them and tag them all in it. Because I, guys, it's frustrating and annoying for all us denture wearers because we're not told shit. And if they're going to be paid to do a job, they need to tell people how to use it, how to go about it. What to expect even for the first month. It's not that hard to just write on a piece of paper information, photocopy it, and every person you see, you don't even have to talk to them, just hand it to them. Like, I feel like they don't care about our quality of health and our quality of life. And it just frustrates me. Because people get so frustrated and they give up on their denture journey, but you guys, there's so much things you can do. So many things you do can make your life easier. And if you have a warranty on your denture, go to freaking town, dude. You can go to town and do whatever soft reline you want to do on your denture. I highly recommend Denture Fit. It is a soft silicone reliner. I remember when they first got a hold of me and they said, hey, you want to try it? I'm like, hey, what the hell? I try everything else for everybody. I've tried reline it, which burns the shit out of your mouth and tastes like acetone. So does a dentist off relines. It's basically the same shit. It's just a dentist overpriced you and charge 300 bucks for him, which is a ripoff, by the way. Um, denture fit, people are like, oh, it's expensive. Actually, most people with denture fit don't even need to use adhesive. So not only are you saving money on adhesive and shitty ass soft relines of $300, it is like $70 or whatever the hell it is, and it lasts up to three months or more. You can't go wrong, but it's a soft silicone reliner, guys. And it feels like 
your cl- your your gums are on a cloud. Like that's actually, and I'm be- I swear on my children, that is what helped me get through my journey for dentures was denture fit, because I hate hate underline underline exclamation exclamation hate the feeling of hard acrylic on my gums. I hate it. I absolutely hate the feeling. I hate the feeling more than anything in this world. Who the hell likes feeling hockey puck in their mouth? Nobody. But DentureFit makes it so comfortable. It's like, yeah, it has great suction. It holds my bottoms great. It, it does all that. But even if it didn't do that, I would still buy it just because how comfortable it is. It is so freaking comfortable. Like, it's like, okay, say when you get new pillows in a new bed and it's like you lay down and you feel that feeling. That's the feeling you get when you use DentureFit. And I like, I love my followers. They finally do it. And they always try to message me and private message me, email me, or try to video chat me. And like, Heather, we tried DentureFit. It freaking works. I love it. She's like, I wish I believed you and listened to you sooner. I'm like, that's your choice. I can only tell you guys what stuff works. And it's your choice whether you want to do it or not. I don't force anybody to do crap. I just let people know. And I'm honest. It's like you see all these YouTubers are like, Oh, this journey is so easy. It's easy peasy, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, who are you playing? Who? Because the first two weeks suck. I was blessed that my top denture was so well made. I didn't need adhesive for two months. I didn't need a soft reline for three months. But I choose to do soft relines. So like when I first got my permit denture for my top, immediately put denture fit in because I hate the feeling of hard acrylic and then I didn't need to use adhesive and I never had problems denture fit's a godsend by the way but there are so many things you guys could do for your denture quality of life so many things you know I didn't want to wait two weeks to see my dentist to get an adjustment done and I'm gonna be real with you most dentists fuck up adjustments Always. People go in there and go like, oh, it's digging at me. Oh, and they leave and they're like, oh, now my denture's too loose. It's because your dentist, like when you tell them you need to adjust, I don't know why they think they need to adjust the trough of the denture, like the inside. No, honey, it's the outside wall that needs to be adjusted, not the inside. And I saw my dentist do it to me. That's why I do my own adjustments. It's because they literally take the Dremel and they do inside the denture. And I was like, no, 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 no. One of the wall adjusted. That's where it hurts, not the inside. And I do my own adjustments now with a simple nail file. You don't don't ever use a Dremel. There's no reason to use a Dremel at all. It's safe to use a nail file and it's just acrylic. It's just acrylic and plastic. So it's very easy to just boom, 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 you're done. But when you do have your dentist do your adjustments, guys, tell them it's just your denture wall. Just the wall of your denture. The part that goes all the way up here or down here. That's what needs to be adjusted. Like, say here was digging in, which it's not. But say it was. You just have to take a little off that one spot. It's not the inside of the trough. Why do dentists always do that? And then people are like, Heather, now my denture's too big. I'm like, well, they fucked up your denture. That's why. So now you're going to have to do a soft reline because they screwed up. And they made your denture inside of it now too big. And I feel like... It makes your life a lot harder when they don't know what they're doing because you go to them for help. Like when I first got my bottoms done, oh my God, I still have the scar. I should have got stitches. The denture was so embedded into my uh, jaw that I should have got stitches. It was was really bad. But when he's doing the adjustment of it, he made it then so big after. And I'm like, fuck. I'm like, really? Really? It went from being too tight to now too loose. I'm like, dude, you did not need to do the trough. You just needed to do the outside because it was looped and it was digging it. You just had it like this. Does anybody listen to me? (laughs) Sometimes I'm just like, God damn. But please make sure, guys, when you have your dentist do your adjustments that you just want that specific spot of the wall. Show them. Show them you just went a little off and that's it. I always tell everybody, be your best own advocate. And stop listening to negative people. Jesus, Lord. There's so many people bitch and say, oh, I hate this. It's the worst such a journey. Never get dentures done. Might be for you, boo, because you gave up. But don't be telling other people to not have their denture journey and die from their teeth infections because you're not happy with your denture journey. Like, say if hypothetically I would have listened to that person, I would have died. 
But my dental journey is just fine. I eat steak. I eat all the shit that I want to eat. So just because somebody else gives up on their journey doesn't mean you're going to. And I always tell everybody this is more mental than physical. And you need to be strong mentally. Take one day at a time. Ignore the negative bullshit you see. You have questions, you can always come to me. I'm always here. Anytime, any place, anywhere. You can contact me anywhere privately. But stop listening to negative people. Because negative people people equal negative journey. Positive people equal... You become what you surround yourself by. I tell my kids that even. If you hang out with, like, say my kids, they hang out with negative influences, that party, that fuck up, that do all this, they're going to start to become it because that's what they're surrounded by. But if you hang out with kids that are strong-willed, that are smart, that want to do good in school, that want to do all that, you start to become what you surround yourself by. And it's like that with dentures. If you hang around and you talk to and you surround yourself only by the negative posts and comments and people, you're going to become negative in your own journey. So I always tell everybody, stay strong. You can do anything. I'm always here to answer any questions or help anybody. But don't listen to the negative bullshit. Because it is just that. It's bullshit. It's somebody's choice to give up not wearing their denture. It's their choice to not try different things to make their life better. It's their choice to not eat with their dentures and mess up their gums and jawbone and TMJ joint and everything else. You don't have to make their negativity become your negativity. Stay strong. You can make this journey however journey you want it to be. There is absolutely no reason to give up. If I gave up when I wanted to, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I worked really hard, tried many products, and decided to figure out what worked for me. And worked for a lot of other people too. But if you guys need to use two adhesives, chances are your denture's too loose and you need a soft reline. And if like, say you're almost at a year, you should be getting a permanent denture soon. And your journey just becomes easier. But please remember guys, I actually made a video of this, of when I went from my immediate to, to permanents, your permanents are gonna be way, way smaller than your permanent, your immediate dentures. Your immediate dentures were big and bulky because it was impressioned when you had teeth. That's why it was wider. That's why you ended up with horse mouth. That's why, because even that goes away within a month, not even. And all of that. Your impressions is without your teeth for your permanent dentures and with all the gum shrinkage. So it will be most likely half the size of your immediate denture. And it takes a few days to get used to it. Like I bit my tongue a lot, but I actually made a video of me adjusting to it, which was pretty funny. A lot of people got a kick out of that. And I was like about to frisbee my damn denture. But you get used to it. And you can't just quit. You can't just quit. You know, I always tell people, even like with my pain, because I have such bad chronic pain, it's not that my pain's getting less. It's I'm getting stronger. And getting used to it. But when you get used to something, it becomes easier. And the more you wear your denture every single day, except while you're sleeping, no excuses. Keep wearing your denture. Your body will get used to it and realize it's a part of you. And then you won't have any problems anymore. You know, you can make this journey easy for you. You can make it hard for you. And that's why I do my videos because I try to make it easier for everybody. And do the best I can, but stop listening to the negativity. It's just going to ruin your life, guys. It's just going to ruin your life. But there are many things out there that can help you. But please don't think that those tabs over the counter is a cleaning solution. It's like a ghetto mouthwash for your denture. It doesn't clean shit. It might lift stains. And that's another thing I do want to make sure everybody knows. Any tabs or any cleaning products that says whitening on it. It doesn't whiten brighter than what you chose. So say you chose B2, but now you want A2. It's not going to make it whiter to get to that shade. It's going to keep the shade you already have, but lift the stains. So please don't get confused or mixed up thinking you're going to whiten your denture more. That's not how that works. And never use bleach on your denture because not only are you going to put toxins in your own self because it absorbs in the soft free lines, but you're now going to ruin your denture. 
and you're going to make it weak, brittle, and it's going to end up breaking. So I always tell people use Dr. B's liquid crystals. It is the best shit on the market. It kills E. coli. It kills all, you know, yeast that causes thrush, staph, strep. It takes all the bad bacteria out. If you want to lift stains, liquid crystals does that too. It, it lifts stains. But anything that says whitening, guys, it's only a stain lifter. It doesn't make them whiter to a whiter shade that you wish you had. You know, if you're going to, if you had B1, you're going to stay at B1 and just the stains lifted. If you want A1, you have to get a whole new denture, guys. So if you want to change your denture color, new denture. No, no product in the market is going to turn acrylic and plastic into whiter shades at all. It doesn't do that. You'd have to get a whole new denture. But I just wanted to make this video to keep you guys somewhat informed of what to expect and all of that. But I'm going to be doing a live. I'm not really sure when, but I'm waiting for everybody to respond so I can see which one I'm going to be doing first. But I love you guys. Please hang in there and stay strong. It's just a piece of plastic and acrylic. Don't let it dictate your life and don't let it ruin your life. I know you can do this. And if I could freaking do it, anybody can do it. I'm proud of you guys for getting as far as you did. Never, ever give up on yourself or the life you want to live. Love you guys. Later.